Hello student, in previous session we studied what is oscillations, what is periodic motion, what is types of oscillatory motion that is vibrational motion, examples comes under oscillatory motions and we also derived an expression for differential equation of SHM. We also seen what is SHM and types of SHM that is linear simple harmonic motion and angular simple harmonic motion. Now in this session we will derive expression for acceleration, velocity and displacement of simple harmonic motion. For that we are requiring differential equation of SHM. Now recall differential equation of SHM that is d2x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0. Therefore d2x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x. But d2x by dt square is nothing but acceleration that is rate of change of velocity. So a is equal to minus omega square x. This is the expression for acceleration in terms of displacement. Okay. Now let us find out what is formula or expression for velocity. For that let us consider this equation d2x by dt square is equal to minus omega square x. Now this d2x by dt square is nothing but d by dt of dx by dt. So d by dt of dx by dt is equal to minus omega square x. So we also know that dx upon dt is equal to velocity. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement. So I can write v instead of dx by dt. So dv by dt is equal to minus omega square into x. Now I will divide and multiply this equation dv by dt. So I will get dv upon dx into dx upon dt is equal to minus omega square into x. Now again we know dx by dt that is rate of change of displacement is velocity. So I will put dx by dt is equal to v. So v dv by dx is equal to minus omega square x. So I will in next step I will take dx on right hand side I will get v dv is equal to minus omega square into dx okay now I can I will integrate this equation so that I will get my desired expression for velocity now integrate on both the side integration of v dv is equal to minus omega square x dx integration of v is v square upon 2 that is x raised to the power n integration dx is equal to x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. Since here n is equal to 1, I am getting n 1 plus 1 that is 2 upon 2. That is v square upon 2 that is equal to minus omega square x upon 2 again here plus c <coughs> omega square x square upon 2 plus c where c is constant of proportionality. Now we know a is if suppose a is maximum displacement that is amplitude of the particle in SHM. For extreme position velocity v is equal to 0. See here we have particle like bob which is attached to string is performing oscillation and this is a minus a plus a and this is mean positions. So let us see what happens to the extreme position. At extreme position v is equal to 0 and x is equal to plus minus a. So, so we will substitute this 2 in equation. We will get v square upon 2 is equal to minus omega square x square upon 2 plus c. Since v is equal to 0 we will get left hand side is equal to 0. That is equal to minus omega square x square upon 2 plus c. We substitute x is equal to a and v is equal to 0 in this equation. So we are getting c is equal to omega square s square upon 2. Now use this constant integration we watch which we get in last step v square upon 2 is equal to minus omega square x square upon 2 plus omega square s square upon 2. Now so we are getting v square 
is equal to omega square in the bracket a square minus x square. What we did here? We did half common and with this it will get cancelled. So by taking square root v is equal to plus minus omega is in the square root a square minus x square. This equation is the velocity of particle performing linear SHM in terms of displacement. Now let us find out next x displacement expression for displacement. For that recall velocity, velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement. So let us substitute this dx by dt in, in this equation. So dx by dt is equal to plus minus omega into square root of a square minus x square. Now again rearranging the terms we are getting dx upon a square minus x square is equal to omega into dt. We did this because we have to take integration on this step. Now integrate on both the side for this equation we are getting integration of dx upon square root of a square minus x square is equal to omega integration dt. We took omega outside the integration sign because omega is constant. Now integration of 1 upon a square root of a square minus x square is nothing but sine inverse of x by a. So we get sine inverse of x by a is equal to omega into t. Integration of only 1 is t. So omega t plus phi where phi is constant of integration. Now what is x by a? x by a is nothing but x by a is equal to sine of omega t plus phi. Therefore, we get x is equal to a sine omega t plus phi. This equation gives us general expression for the displacement x of the particle performing linear simple harmonic motion at time t. Now, let us see two cases where if the particle start SHM from mean position that is from here particle perform simple harmonic motion from mean position and second case particle perform linear simple harmonic motion from extreme position that is from here. So let us see case number one if the particle start simple harmonic motion from mean position from for mean position displacement is zero that is x is equal to zero similarly because it is starting t is also zero now what we get here x is equal to a sin omega t plus c now to be this equation valid we will we have phi is equal to sin inverse of x by a see here we will put here t is equal to 0. So, sin inverse of x by a is equal to 0 plus phi. So, we are getting phi is equal to sin inverse x by a. So, to be sin inverse of a is equal to 0, we will get this equation phi is equal to sin inverse of x by a that is also equal to 0 or pi because the value of sin is 0 is at 0 or pi. So, at mean position our displacement is x is equal to plus minus a sin omega t. Now here positive and negative sign what this this shows positive sign to be chosen when it start toward the positive direction and negative sign to be chosen when it start towards negative direction. Hence we derived an expression for velocity acceleration and displacement for a particle which perform linear simple harmonic motion. Now let us see case number 2 when particle starts SHM from the extreme positions that here particles either starting from this or this. So for that displacement is either negative uh, plus minus a or plus a. At this point since it is starting from that point so t is equal to 0 again. Similarly, we are substituting this t is equal to 0 in sin inverse x by a equation. We are getting phi is equal to sin inverse of x by a is equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2. So, x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi. This was the condition. So, we will put 
this pi by 2 and 3 by 2 in this phi we are getting x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi by 2 or x is equal to a sin omega t plus 3 pi by 2 this is nothing but equals to x is equal to plus minus a cos omega t this is identity of trigonometry that is sin pi by 2 plus theta is equal to cos theta okay so we got two cases for the displacement that is at mean position and at extreme position see here at extreme extreme position we have x is equal to cos omega t this means whenever you are you have been uh, told that the particle is performing uh, simple harmonic motion from extreme position you have to use this formula a cos omega t okay now let us find out expression of displacement x velocity v and acceleration a at time t at any time we have to uh, find out the expressions now recall equations x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi so this is expression for displacement now we will do derivative with respect to time we will get velocity velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement so we have to take in derivative of this equation so we will get velocity so integration of this equation is as a is constant we will write at as it is in integration so derivative of sin is cos so we will write cos omega t plus 5 again derivative of angle omega t plus 5 derivative of omega t is nothing but omega so here d by dt of omega t is omega so that will be outside the bracket so a omega cos omega t plus 5 is derivative of displacement and since phi 0 so this and in the derivative of omega t plus phi is only omega now this is expression for velocity that is a omega cos omega t plus phi now acceleration is rate of change of velocity so we will take derivative of this equation that is derivative of velocity so what we we will get a as it is omega square because again derivative of cos omega t plus phi that is minus sin omega t plus phi and again derivative of omega t that is omega so we are getting omega square here so this is expression for acceleration in SHM so let us see what happens at extreme position to displacement velocities and acceleration now displacement is x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi at mean position omega t plus phi is equal to 0 or pi that is x minimum is equal to 0 okay at extreme positions omega t plus phi is equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 to be this value x is equal to 0 our omega t plus phi should be 0 or pi then and then our x mean x value will be 0 that's why we will return here omega t plus phi is equal to 0 or pi now what will happen to extreme positions for extreme position this should be 1 a this should be 1 so omega t plus phi is equal to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 so sin 90 will be maximum at extreme positions so x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi we will substitute this omega t plus phi is equal to pi by 2 so pi by 2 is nothing but plus 1 so x is equal to a so x at extreme position amplitude displacement is nothing but amplitude that is plus minus a now let us see what happens to velocity at mean position and extreme positions at mean positions here velocity is maximum because x is equal to 0 so we will substitute x is equal to 0 here we will get v max is equal to plus minus a omega we substitute x is equal to 0 v is equal to plus minus omega square root of a square minus 0 so we get v is equal to plus minus omega into a so 
velocity of the particle performing shm is maximum at mean position now let us see at extreme position that is at these positions so at this position what is displacement displacement is either plus a or minus a so we will substitute v is equal to plus minus omega a square minus x square this is our equation for velocity so we will substitute x is equal to a we will get plus minus omega is equal to square root of a square minus a square so we are getting this as a zero so velocity will be zero at extreme position from this we can say that particle velocity of the particle in shm is minimum at extreme positions these two conditions are very important because velocity is maximum at mean position and velocity is minimum at extreme positions now let us see what happens to acceleration acceleration the formula is a is equal to omega square into x now what in po mean position displacement is zero so we will put x is equal to zero here so a is equal to omega square into zero so acceleration is also equals to zero no acceleration is at mean positions so acceleration is minimum at mean positions now let us see at extreme positions at extreme positions displacement is a plus and minus a so a is equal to plus minus omega square into a acceleration is maximum at extreme positions hence we also seen the conditions where acceleration velocity and displacement are minimum and maximum thank you